hi guys welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel so um i just decided uh, just spontaneously i decided today to make another painting tutorial for all of you guys i'm usually uh, following a pattern like every week like now i mean doing every sunday but i just felt the I just felt the urge to paint today and I just want to paint with you guys and I just want to paint all right I think that's enough reason for me to just go ahead and do what it is that I want so I decided to paint an iris flower because a friend of mine sent me a message um, and showed me the rendition of one of my painting tutorials so she painted one of my iris flowers and i think she's done quite a bunch of my tutorials and i'm just so happy that she's enjoying it and also her sister is enjoying the tutorials so i decided to why not paint another iris flower you know you can never have enough iris flower paintings so yeah i'll be using only a few colors today and as you can see here my canvas paper is a square so just use any square canvas for, you know, if you really want to have the same proportion as um, what I have here. So let me tell you now the colors that I'll be using for today's painting tutorial. And excuse all the other dried acrylic paints here on my palette. We have here titanium white, tiny bit of orange. All right, I'm not requiring you to get this amount of paint for the violet, but I pressed my tube. And then I got a lot of violet here accidentally, but I'm gonna make use of it for another painting. And of course, I also have a tiny bit of black. You, couldn't, you cannot really see that. It's super tiny amount. All right, so let's begin sketching now. Since I have a lot of violet here, I'm just gonna use it for sketching and maybe for underpainting as well. So I'm gonna get my violet. All right, let's begin now, straight ahead. Right, you see that? I haven't even started yet. So I'm going to sketch first my subject. By the way, guys, you know why I love the iris flower? It's because of its, um, it reminds me of Vincent, Vincent Van Gogh, right? Because iris is also his um, favorite flower. So basically what I'm trying to do here is to get the shape of my subject so that I don't stress so much about, you know, getting the proportions correct in the middle of doing the painting. So I'm going to do it right away. So that's basically the shape of this iris. Now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna continue using my violet right here. And maybe I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black to my violet to make it more dark. So just add black to your violet. And I'm just gonna go ahead and underpaint the petal. 
as you can see here i'm also following the pattern on flowers you know the the pattern that you see on the petals usually it's vertical right unlike the pattern that you see on the leaves they're usually like horizontal or maybe diagonal but this one it's more of vertical Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot that we will also be using phthalo blue. So include that in your palette. We'll be using some phthalo blue. Okay. And also here. Okay, like that. I will mix my violet with my orange, like so, like this. And I'm gonna use that on some areas. Okay, here we go again with the uh, finger painting. If you are new to my channel, I'm usually using, I'm usually, uh, or I usually use my hand or my fingers in painting. I directly have contact with my canvas. Alright, like that. Okay. Alright, like that. So basically, we've underpainted it, but I'm going quite light and watery on some uh, some areas. As you can see here, it's quite watery here. My purpose is just to simply cover the section without giving it a lot of coverage because we'll be using a lighter. Um, lighter colors later all right so basically that's the underpainting for these petals down here and then we're going to underpaint the bottom i mean the, the upper petals so for that i'm just going to use my titanium white right i'm going to add tiny bit of black to make it gray and i'm going to add tiny bit of violet to make it more dull uh white purplish white like this color maybe I'm gonna add more black maybe this and then violet just make sure that the most dominant color is white because um, that's the color the main color of the top petals so let's just underpaint first perfect this is the right color this is the color that I want So now I'm deleting the sketch lines because we actually don't need the sketch lines if we are painting um, realism or if we're doing realism. Sketch lines, if any, should be quite thin.
and as you can see here I'm not really concerned about the the brush strokes that I'm making I'm not really concerned look how random I do the brush strokes because we're still in the underpainting um, stage so everything will be covered in details later that okay I'm gonna wet my brush because it's drying pretty quick okay Okay, now I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some orangey colors. So get your orange. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of white to my orange to make it more opaque. I'm gonna add orange colors right here. Now I want you to get your white. So get your white. All right. And then just outline the shape of the petal. Alright, like this. Just like what I'm doing. here as well Okay, and then using the same white color, I'm going to create some patterns on the petal. So just like so, very easy guys. Just um, be, be soft with your application, don't stress so much. So allow the brush to do the job for you actually. That's the key, that's the um, technique here. Just guide the brush where it wanna go, where it wants to go, but then allow the brush to do its own brush strokes. So I'm very gentle. here as well very gentle highlights all right like that Wash brush out, and then okay. I'm gonna get again my violet, but this time I'll be adding some orange. All right, like this. So just mix it with tiny bit of orange and maybe tiny bit of white. So maybe this. 
just to let or to allow the violet to kind of be opaque and then I'm gonna dry brush a bit also here I'm going to lighten this portion okay I think I need more orange So I'm gonna get my orange and mix that with this color. With a violet color, maybe add white. Let's try this one, guys. All right, that's it. And maybe here I'm gonna add hints of orange right here okay. like that All right, now I'm gonna get my pure white. Just get your pure white, guys. Let's go up while we wait for the paints to dry and before we go back to some areas. Let's just first identi identify where the highlights are gonna go. It will make sense later. For now, let's just go ahead and do some highlighting. Okay, again, let's go and apply a second layer of white. And some highlights. Okay. 
All right, now I'm going to get some violet, white, and gray. I mean black, so I'm gonna gray the violet and white like this, all right? And I'm gonna use this color, okay? to go and make some depth right here. Okay, I'm gonna go back right here. And also here. All right, like that. Okay, wash your brush out. Again, I'm gonna go and get my white and I'm just gonna go and highlight some areas to kind of dry brush like that also here Okay, wash and brush out and I will outline now okay very minimally I'm gonna outline the shape of the petal I'm gonna get my black or maybe you can use dark violet if you don't want to use your pure black you can add black to the violet and then just go ahead and outline the petals
All right. Okay, now I'm gonna add some, what do you call that? Like the handle, the, the stem. gonna go ahead and highlight even more Okay, I'm going to get more white. I am white here. Let me check. Okay. I'm thinking if I'll be doing a background for this one or I'll retain the white. I don't know. I'm not sure, guys, if I'll be doing that. So anyway, let's just proceed with the violet. Okay. I'm going to mix that with orange. Okay, now it's time for us to get our blue. Get your tailor blue. Okay, 
Okay, so now I got my phthalo blue, all right? And I'm just gonna use this straight away. So I'm gonna use my phthalo blue in creating some patterns on the flower and some shadowing as well. Okay, I'm gonna add some gray colors. To add more depth. But try to avoid that hard lines that you probably will have a tendency of doing. Okay, now I'm going to get my white plus violet. I'm going to highlight this area. Okay, I'm gonna get some orange colors right here. And I think, guys, we will be using a little bit of yellow. I mean, I can actually not do it, but I feel like there's some sort of yellowness in every flower. I'm going to get my yellow and turn this one into yellow-orange instead of just orange. All right, like that. Also here. Yeah, I kind of like it better. All right. Also here.
and some grayness. going to use a lighter um, violet, a lighter version of my violet color. I'm going to add orange. Okay, maybe this color. I'm going to try to dry brush along this side. Maybe near the edge of the petal Okay, you get your blue, your phthalo blue. We're almost done. I think I'll retain the white background. I don't like to create any more background because that would make the background busy and you will not be focusing on the flower. And that's our focus for today, the flower. Right. So I'm gonna glaze using white, all right? I'm going to glaze using white, so I'm just going to cover everything with this color without, however, fully covering those areas that we darken, all right? Just glaze it. Retain the shades like that. We just want to remove the harshness of black colors. I'm gonna get some gray and I'm gonna add a little bit of gray color. Down here. Okay. And then I'm doing some blue colors here. Okay, now let's go back to white and let's just 
again do some detailing on the petals I mean on this petal very intricate detailing Okay. I'm going to get again my violet plus white. Just kind of lighten this part. like that Let me check. Okay. This is good, guys. Some more highlights. All right. Okay, more orangey colors. Just dots. Just dab on the color. You don't have to smear the paint.
creating some natural look to the painting. I love this one. I'm gonna sign this now because I think we're done, guys. We're done. We don't have to do anything much more. I'm just gonna delete this because it's outside the line. Okay, like that. All right. Oh my gosh, this is nice. I'm going to sign this now, guys. And before I sign, I'm just going to delete those lines outside my sketch. I keep saying I'm going to sign this and then I keep going. All right, I'm gonna sign this now for sure. I'm gonna get my violet since I do have a lot of that color. I'm gonna sign right here. And we're done, we're done guys. We're done guys, I hope you enjoy this one. And if you do, or if you did, uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, if you're painting along with me or if you are just watching the painting video with me let me know in the comment section below and before I end this video guys I just saw something that needs to be correct that needs to be corrected you know me and my um, late uh, corrections I just darken that. All right. Yeah, as I was saying, we're done guys so i hope you enjoyed this one i'm gonna link in the description box below all other iris painting tutorials that i've done for you so yeah see you in my next video guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. love you